Devon, my final question for you is, do you have any three specific tips that will help job seekers during their job search strategy? Yeah, so I, I think a couple of things that I think are relevant. Mm -hmm. um, and, and part of this is probably not new, but I think I want to reinforce it. In the new normal, in the new normal, however you define it, everybody's a brand, right? So what I mean by that is if I'm, if I'm, looking at you, considering you, where am I going to go? I'm going to go to the internet. I'm going to Google. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to LinkedIn. So I would not discount your ability. Employers and people make first impressions very, very quickly. Yeah. Right. So is your LinkedIn profile? Are you active? If you're a creative, you own your own domain. I have DevonCHughes.com. Again, these are just nuances because people make perceptions. It depends on the job. Are you up to date on your certification? Anything that you can do to differentiate yourself and sell yourself is always appreciated. Yes. Right? Because again, if I'm the employer, I'm busy. I've got a hundred people to look at. Yeah. Make it easier for me to discern, wow, this person really makes it a fit. If I have to work too hard yeah. to figure out if you're the candidate, guess what? You may not be. Yeah. All right, so that, that'd be the first one. The second one would be is persistence. Persistence pays the bills. Mm -hmm. We talked about it in an earlier call. It is hard. It is going to take work. It's the equivalent of me of trying to get in shape and lose weight, right? You don't, you don't get in shape or fit in a day yeah, or two days. You're going to have to put in the time. But I think you touched on it earlier. You need, a, you need some structure. It can't be hopeful happenstance. What I suggest is schedule it on your on your calendar. I call it hunting time. Mm -hmm. So whether it's eight to eleven, I'm going to be present, focused, conscious, and I'm going to do the work. And I'm going to get off. I'm going to take some time for me. I'm going to go read. I'm going to walk. I'm going to FaceTime. I'm going to do something to fill my cup, to get me in a better place emotionally. And maybe I re-engage. But the work that I do with the people that are the most successful, are very structured about their time, and they discount and they celebrate. Success. And so the third thing I would say is, and I just mentioned, it celebrates success. Yeah. Right? Again, in football, and I'm talking about American football, we celebrate first down. Now, for you sports fans, that means we celebrate 10 yards because we get a first down, which means yeah. we keep the ball. Yeah. My point of that story is the reason they celebrate first downs in American football, because if I don't celebrate first downs, I probably won't score touchdowns. Yeah. Celebrating success is really important to the brain. Yeah. My even point if it's small is, ones. Even if it's small, small wins. Ones. Yeah. Small wins. Progress, not perfection. Yeah. Get in the habit. If you have a great day, just to celebrate it, memorialize it, because you're getting closer to the goal. Yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Evan. I really enjoyed the conversation with you, and I hope the audience will uh, implement some of your tips. So again, thank you very much for taking the time to ask you this question. I believe the audience will benefit from them. Uh, again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave comments below and tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. So Devon, again, thank you very much. And hopefully we can meet one day and continue this conversation. Fantastic. Thanks for having me. Bye, everyone.